Robert was not introduced to shape note music until he was in his late teens. He was fascinated by it and started going to Hartford Music Institute, which was just across the border in Arkansas from his home in Oklahoma. He was quite good at it, quite good at what he was doing, and began to write some songs. He had one published, and then he wrote I could hear them singing over there in 4-8 time. The 4-8 time signature was quite unusual at the time. He showed the song to some of his friends at the school. They made fun of him and said, you couldn't have written that. It must have been written by Mr. Bartlett, the man who ran the school. This discouraged Mr. Brumley. He was a bashful person anyway. He wanted to give up and not write any more songs. Then about five years later, he did submit some songs, some more songs to Mr. Bartlett, who thought, well, he has one song that I think I can fit on one page, so I might as well try to use it. He did, and that song was, I'll Fly Away, and the rest is history. The moral of this story is, if Mr. Brumley had listened to his friends, we would have never had, I'll Fly Away, I'll Meet You in the Morning. If we never meet again, Jesus Hold my hand. I'm camping in Canaan's land. I'm bound for that city. The blood that stained the old rugged cross. There's a little pine log cabin. The list goes on and on and on of the great songs that he's written. But he almost stopped writing because his friends tried to talk him out of it by telling him he wasn't a good songwriter. I'll Fly Away is the most recorded gospel song in history, and it has been recorded by all genres of music. We repeat, the rest is history. Thank you, Mr. Brumley.